Hello, good evening. It's running a bit late then. It is Wednesday, so it's swimming and everything on a Wednesday. And I've got a bidding from somewhere. I can't figure out what it is. Let's see if I can. It might be my phone. Okay, let's try and sort that one out. Hello, happy Wednesday. It's, um, there we go. Oh, it was my phone. So we'll put that there, out of the way. So hopefully everything's sorted now. I think I've got the, the pewters up and running. It was a bit last minute tonight, because um, it is when, uh, Wednesday, so it's Sunday night. <sighs> yeah, it's a late one. Um, so, tonight, I want to play with our Snow Valley Border, because we haven't played with that yet. Um, and it's also in a box next to me, so I, I, I know where it is. That was the key. Hi, Sue. Um, so that was the key tonight. I knew where things were. Hi, Pauline. So we're going to play that lovely Snowflake Border. I've got my... Um, Christmas sayings as well out so we're going to use some of them um, and we're just going to have a bit of fun Hi Vanessa and so that's what I'm going to be doing tonight, that lovely snowflake border um, and just taking it from there really so should we get crafting let's have a look let's see if we can get the right one tonight oh yeah that looks about right I've even, I couldn't find my little pokey scissors so I've had to bring my um, sewing scissors in with me I think we're going to do some cutting out I think I might chicken out. Hi Leslie. I thought I had what I needed next to me. Maybe I didn't, there it is. So I've got my big border always oh, to be there. Let me just move my chair, I didn't realise it was under my feet. There we go. Right. I thought, oh I've got more space today, it's because I've got my little stools underneath my desk. No wonder I couldn't get in. Anyway, oh, we've gone blurry already. How rude. Serves me right for not checking. I'm running in at the last minute. <laughs> Surprised you didn't hear me screeching. Come on. You know you want to. There we go. Right. And if you listen carefully tonight, you might hear the church bells because it is. Um, I've left my paintbrush there from the other night. I'm not going to rescue that. Um, it's um, when they do the bells so it's bell ringing practice tonight so sometimes, well, we can always hear them on a Wednesday night but they've only just recently started up again so it's, it's lovely to hear them um, so, yeah, anyway I moved on to something different than Minta right, what colours should we do? Hi Noala oh, why is it doing this tonight? oh there we go come on, what colours, anyway Whilst I'm fiddling with this camera that's deciding to not like me. Oh, that's what it could be. I've moved. Ooh. Assuming I should have um, unscrewed that before I tried to move it. Eek. Right, I'm going to leave that there so it stops doing that. Um, what colour should we use tonight? What colour should we use for our snowflakes? Should we go with the normal blue and silver? Or should we do something a little bit more shocking? Not really sure. I think I did pink, didn't I, and tell her the other day pink and lime green Ooh. go on then what colours what colours do we think whilst I see if I can stop this camera from going funny on me what colour should we do our snowflakes tonight there we go. I think it's back up and running didn't realise you can see me fell on there it still can see it I can't move that away <laughs> Am I gonna have to decide? Oh no! Right. Um, I do fancy pink, but we're not. We're gonna. I tell you what, we're gonna use. We are gonna use blue, but we're gonna use the new ones. So, I'm gonna go for my speckled egg because I've not used a speckled egg before, or as we call it in our house, speckled speckled egg. Um, because it just seems to. Savage patina. Now I'm going to need another colour to go with them. So I think a bit of a. I'm thinking like a faded greens kind of colour. That could look quite nice. Could be a bit of a faded jeans. So where's my faded jeans? I can never find the ones I want, can I? Yeah, it's on my desk actually. Nope, they're pink. I'll get there in a minute. I will indeed. Yes, that's the Facebook's just decided to play up on me. So I'll let it boot me out and I'll come back in.
Oh, it knows I'm all in a fluster. There we go. Right. Well, that's so sorting for faded jeans. So one of these days I'll be that organised and have everything ready. You'll be like, whoa, it's a Shirley Kim that's doing this. Wait, fall off your chairs. There it is. Oh, actually, the salty ocean might be a good one to use as well. I'm changing my mind now. You can tell. I've got all different ideas now. Every time the salty ocean. Right, I've got a few. I've got a few different ones. We'll have a look at what's going to look good together. Oops. I've got fluff everywhere. Let me take my gloves off as well. Right. I don't want to move that too far in case we go fuzzy again. So, what have we got in front of us? I'm going to move that big piece of white paper until I'm happy with my colours. So I want to do a bit of a splattered background, a bit like what we did at the weekend, but I want to make it a little bit more detailed. So, I think I might go speckle there first. So he's look quite nice with weathered wood, but I want a bit of a blue in there as well. You can tell I use that faded jeans a lot, can't you? Ooh. You know what? I think I'm going to make a clutch of scrap with it and see it is. Well, that's not a good seed. That won't do, will it? There, with it. What? Right, it's going to be those three, isn't it? So we're going to go for sal salvage patina, speckled speckled egg, and weathered wood. So I'm going to go in there just like that. And I'm going to go go for it. So similar to what we did the other day, but we're going to do a bit of cutting out and things like that as well. Oh. We'll have a go. We'll see what happens. Right, I'm clicking away. Let me jump back in here. Right, there we go. We're all good. So if I wanted that piece of paper to do my cutting out on, never mind. So what I want to do is you can see I'm using a seven and a half inch. Let me just check that is my cut down piece. Yep, seven and a half inch to go onto an eight inch card. Yep. Because when you look at these borders, you think, all right, you've got to use a DL card for them. If you don't, you can get away with any shape card really, because they fit on A5s as well. So what I want to do is create a panel for me, um, my colour and my, my border, I'll get there in a minute, my border, um, to put it down one side and then have our sentiment coming out the other. So that's the plan. So I'm going to turn it round. So I want to concentrate where I'm putting my colour. Because if, if you remember when we did the DL, it didn't really matter where it went. Whereas this one, I want to just keep it in a little panel. So best way to do that is to grab some acetate. Here's some I prepared earlier. So we can position our blobs a bit better. Evening, Mum. Mum's been working on something special for monthly mates. So I'm not going to tell you any more than that, but when you see them, you'll know. Let me move that black off my finger. I've got it everywhere. So I've just popped a little bit on my acetate there. Yep, I'm just going to give it a quick splodge. Oh, I love that noise. I think my um, church bells have stopped, haven't they now? You can see I've got a big puddle here, so as soon as I turn that over, it's just going to go everywhere, so I'm just going to blot that extra extra wet bit off. And we're just going to splodge this on. I'm going to do it all down this side. Just like that. I'm going to wipe this one off. I've still not brought my proper heat gun back into here. To be honest, I've not sat down this end of my crafty cave for a week, so. I've been busy cooking and packing those orders, which should have all gone out today. I just haven't updated the computer so you won't get your messages through yet. Oh, that looks really well. Look at it in here. 
funny, isn't it, how white makes it look dry when it's not. That salvage patina actually has some gorgeous colours in it. It's taking a wee while to dry though. Might be because it's a bit chilly outside. There's that one. And then I want to go to my speckled head. I put a few little blobs and splodges of this one. I remember this one's a bit darker, so I'm going to be a bit more sparing with this one. Ooh, she says, and then gets it everywhere. I'm just going to start off with a few little. Ooh, I really overwatered that one. Never mind. It'll be all right. This is the, the moment where we go, mm, turn it into a bit of a dog's dinner. But we, we will recover, won't we? We always do. There we go, it is easier with a slightly smaller piece of acetate. There we go. Hi Sean. Again, we're just going to heat this up and set it. You can see all those lovely different colours, can't you? That you get with your oxides. Can do with earrings as well, or even with those cheap pound shop pens. They work just as well. Well, apart from you don't get as much variation in colour, but they work. That's what I'm trying to say. Oops. Isn't it when you switch to, some, to a different heat one for a bit? Right, quite liking that. We are going to put some weathered wood in there though. I'm just bending my card back out because you saw what happened before. I got a lovely um, big splodge on there. Oops, there, Daisy. So I'm just going to do a few splatters with our lovely, which one's this one? Weathered wood. I remember his name. But whack it on your desk. Probably didn't need that much. And then paintbrush time. And then just it's very watery. It's almost gone to a hickory smoke kind of consistency. a little bit this way, not much, because I want it to go that way too too far. That back up there. You're all very quiet tonight. I'm trying to think what else is on eight o'clock on a Wednesday. Right, so the paintbrush is kind of clean. Let's just dry this one off. feeling you are left. It feels really, I don't know, it's really tiring this week. I said to Mr. Ree, maybe we should have a bit of, you know, a chill out Sunday. And then about 20 minutes later, he suggested that we do something else. I was like, okay, yeah, we're not chilling out this weekend, if that's your plan. Definitely not chilling out on Sunday. I can get, I can see what he wants to do, but... I'd have quite happily just stayed in bed all day and done nothing. That won't work anyway because it's a Sunday and the kids will be here. 
Right, so we're going to do that now on your, on this, um, well, I've got ink everywhere on this one, I've got my inky pinkies, right, on this, remember, you have got writing, so if you are stamping onto your base directly, because I know some of you do, um, just remember, get your writing the right way up, um, and actually on this, I want my, my panel to be this way, and then my sentiment over here, so it does matter which way I stamp it, so I want my writing be legible i don't want it to be australian writing so we're going to pop that on there like so decision time i think i'm going to go with i'm going to go black actually i was was going to say i would do gray but my stamp's quite mucky you know what i'm actually going to cheat let's flatten it out now <laughs> i'll get there i'll get there with it And part of me can't wait if this snow arrives because I think it's just fun, isn't it? Having snow around. The other part is like, mm, really, do we need snow? To me, I still think it's about August time and we're just having bad weather. This, this last few months has just whipped by. Since we went back to school in September, this it has just absolutely whipped by. make sure when you're inking this one up a lot like drum the big corner flower and um, the what you call it christmas tree corner all of those these are really big stamps so make sure you are putting ink down there we go let's pop that on there i'll try not to drop it i might have done that a few times so when i put this down i'm going to put it down and then i'll chat to you about it when i put this one down i want to make sure these lines are as level as they can be to the side of my card and then you want your top and bottom to be pretty much the same which mine isn't so don't look too closely and to be fair this bottom stamp that I've done here doesn't really have to stamp out perfectly all I need is these lines at the bottom and me let it snows my words let's give it a real good press oh hear my thumb crack then Oh, got to admit, did feel good. I don't think I should say things like that live, should I? Never mind. Good job you know me. <laughs> right, so I'm hoping that's stamped. Okay. Lift him up. There we go. So we could just leave it like that. I've done it a little bit wonky, but never mind. Whilst I've got my big snowflake out and about, let's make him do all the work we want him to do. So I'm going to grab this bit. And what I want is, I want this centre centre snowflake. Yep, so I want this one. That's what I want to stamp on the first one. I don't think I'm going to cut out the other two. But I might. I'm going to stamp it once for now. And then we'll see. I'm just inking up the middle bit. Remember to ink up all the points to your snowflake. Not that I've done that myself. You know, you go to stamp it and it's like, oh, I'm missing half of it. Because I haven't put any ink on it. There. Oh, and whilst it pops into my head I might as well say it don't forget we've got our Christmas card swap going on over in the group I know I've not been in the group that much the last few well last week or so um, we've definitely got our Christmas card swap going on so if you want to find the details out on that head on over to the Crafty Roos I know Sue's been busy well mum's been busy with hers she asked me how I was going with mine hmm <laughs> About the same as well how I'm getting on with my Christmas cards in general, Mum. Right, 
so I am. I mean, can up the three snowflakes this time as well. Wow, Pauline, you are on a roll. You know, if you want to do some extras, I really don't mind. <laughs> Not kidding, I'll get there in the end. Let's see if I can rope the kids into doing them. Evening, Claire. So, I know I'm taking a long time to stamp this out, only because, well, you've burned my fingers cricking and cracking tonight. Lots and lots of ink and lots and lots of good um, pressing on there. <laughs> um, I'm with you, Claire, on that one. I'm, I'm going to be at that point where I might run through my samples box. Not that I've done that before, honestly. But you know, when people ask for pictures of um, old sample cards and I can't give them, it might be because they were sat in people's mantle piece. And obviously mine, I don't give other people's, I was mine. That'd be naughty, wouldn't it? Right, so we've got that going there. I'm going to move over to this one. I'm going to cheat first, I'm going to cut out this big one. And then, and I know mum's on now, she'll shout at me. Yes, I am using my fabric scissors, mum. I couldn't find any other ones. I'm just going to give that a quick blast with the heat gun because it feels a bit tacky. remember versifying clay stays wet a little bit longer than your normal versifines and things so I am going to whip around this as quickly as I can and if you want to cut out as well it is easier to do it on a slightly thinner paper I kept meaning to do this on vellums because I think it'll look amazing on a vellum And if I actually look at my notebook, I'd have seen that I was going to do vellum tonight. One be a minute, just nipping around this one. It does look. <laughs> it's not these ones are mine. I've not touched your scissors this time. Makes a change, I suppose. <laughs> See, this still isn't dry because I'm picking up little bits of black on my thumb. You would dry yours off a lot better than I have. Oops. Just go around. <laughs> it's when I try and quicken up, it just all goes to the pot, doesn't it? Going around. Some of the bits of it are really easy to do, and then you get the bits of the other bits behind it. That didn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. But you get the other snowflakes overlapping, you just have to take your time, follow your lines. And it's a catch 22. I was saying this to Mr. Rue the other day because um, I challenged myself to cut one out because you know me and Fussy Cutting doesn't always get along. Um, and then I sat cursing because colouring it in after I've cut it out is a bit too difficult. But then I pointed out to him that if I'd have cut it out and made and coloured it in and then cut it out, I'd been a bit more annoyed than if I was just made a mess cutting it out. It made perfect sense to me, not so much to him. Right, so I'm onto my last leg now. You just need to be a little bit careful with this fella because it will. 
many an end I've chopped off at this point. There we go. And I'm just going to go around that bit there. Key is to make it so it's not one of the, the top or bottoms, and generally you can get away with it. Right, pop that in my rubbish bag ish. Well, it's on the floor near it. Right, so we've got that one there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy up a little bit with. Oh, move stuff on my desk again. Where's my white pen gone? Oh. I used the whole tub, didn't I, the other day? I'll probably put it away. Turn the heat up, it's only gone really cold in here. They're saying that if it was nice and warm, I'd probably be asleep. Come on, where's my nice white pens? That's something I need to do as well. So, out I make and take for Saturday over at Motorcycle Museum. I need to remember to cut some cards so we don't run out again. Claire's not already reminded me. Okay, I can't believe we ran out of card last time. Luckily, there's generally a paper. There we go, back to, go back to my big box. Right, so I'm going to put that on here. What I want to do is around my there you go, snowflake, I'm just going to take away any of these little black bits. So I'm basically using this like a tip exer. Yeah, so any of those black bits I don't want to see. So I'm giving it back a border without having to. So remember, tipple with your. Your pen. You won't be able to see much of this, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Just even if you go over it gently, like this bit here. Oh, I'm pressing on. Okay. The fact that you're turning it, you're turning it grey basically, it's going to push this snowflake right to the front. You'll see a big difference in it. Just going over there. You can get a lovely little Tifex pen actually that I have used once or twice. So a local lady discovered you could colour in, um, you know, rock painting and all that. She discovered she could do a rock painting with it. So, can't believe I'm concentrating so much. So you can see those black lines just going over them slightly has really made that snowflake stand out a little bit more. Right, decision time now. Let me get me me splodge pieces back. Ooh, that was really wet. Look, that was our speckled head. It's always been a messy one that one, haven't I? I'll let you decide which one do I mean the ink or the kid. Ooh, a bit blue. A bit blue, but it might do. I'm not going to rule out greens at this point either. Nope. I'll tell you what there is, though. There's a lovely... It's like a deep, mossy green. It might be that one. Okay, that, that's perfect, isn't it? Like it's meant to be. It's number 744, if anybody's interested. We don't have name proper names these guys. I just get given a number. Right, so all I'm going to do is very carefully just add a little bit of shimmer and shine to this bit. moving it around add a little bit more there 
having to concentrate. <laughs> Just like that. Look at that colour. Really coming in there, isn't it? Just like that. And these little gaps on the stems as well, stalks. I don't know what they're called on snowflakes. The leggy bits. To hold the arms on. Spindles. Maybe. You know the bits I mean, don't you? There we go. Right. Look at that sparkle. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Loving it. Look. What do you think of your close-up look? Oh, we've gone all fuzzy again there. Look. Look. It's making my eyes go funny now, isn't it? No, come on. Oh, yep, it did. So whilst I've got my pen out, we're going to sort out our little dots and dashes. Hmm. Oh, my, gl my glossy accents is in the house. It's that time of the year, isn't it, when my um, crafting stuff is going to end up in and out of the house. Because the little lady was doing her bits and bobs. Oh, I've still not put a picture of those on for you to see, have I? I will do. What little lady's been working on. Just going to add a few more bits and bobs in here. Actually, before I do that... want to grab my charcoal pencil because these lines look all well and good yeah but they are crying out for just a little bit of depth so grab your um, charcoal pencil get as close to the line as you can because if you're anything like me you, you get a wee bit off just go down gently next to it don't need to bother about this because we've basically cut that bit out I always get heavy handed at some point. See, doesn't that look a lot better? Just adding that little bit of charcoal pencil down the edge. Again, don't worry if you've not got a charcoal pencil. Normal pencil works just as well. It's just not quite as soft. Add a few extra dots as well. They sparkle. Because it is Christmas, isn't it? And I, do, I know I don't do sparkle that often. crusty at the end let me just oops running out now right I'm gonna stop there before I get very um well you know what I can get like when I've got a doodle pen in my hand now I'm hoping I'm hoping 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 I've got some Nuvu drops, Novo, Novu, Nuvu, whatever they're called, drops. Like glossy accents, but tonics version. They used to sit on my desk. No. Oh. Because you know. I found my um, another tub of glossy accents the other day and it had a bendy end on it. I don't know why, but that is just working perfectly. It hasn't bunged up on me or anything. It is absolutely working great. You know, I hope other people's classrooms are like mine and just hip. You can hardly find anything. Nope, new boots. 
did find a purple gel pen. Not always was. No. Oh, fiddlesticks. I would like to put a little bit of gem, uh, of glossy accents on each of my little dots. Um, that's not going to happen though because I can't find them. Noelle is asking what colours we used. I don't know, I'll have to look. Um, savage Patina, Salvage Patina, not Savage. That's something completely different. Speckled Ed and Weathered Wood. So they're the three at the moment. And number 744 of the gel pens, whatever that means. Right got that there this is going to sit neatly on there like so yeah not finished there because we're going to put other little bits with it i think i think it needs a little bit of um floof that's the word i was looking for i'm going to put a little bit of floof on there what i'm trying to decide at the moment is these guys here i know i've cut them out i've got them here to cut out but I think we're just going to colour them in. What colour though? That is the decision, isn't it? I don't want to do with the wood. I think we're going to go with the really bright one. So the Savage Patina. Salvaged Patina. Isn't it funny how you... you once you get the wrong name in your head. It's like um, the amount of people that say pickled raspberry i do as well instead of picked raspberry it does sound better doesn't it you want a pickled raspberry so let's move that to one side for a second yeah look at that that was the right choice wasn't it I think this this these colours would make a lovely ombre as well, you know. Um I think we shared a sample of that the other day where you just do like a little a patch of lovely little ombre and then stamp through it. Just remember to check you've done all your arms and legs. Oh, it doesn't really matter because I'll have a thing over the top of it. Because um, you do tend to find that you might miss the odd one. Yeah. So I know you've cut out that one on top. But you're never quite sure. How much of a border you've cut around it. If in fact in some places you left yourself a border at all. If you're cutting out anything like mine. That's fine, right? See, I've missed that one's legs off as well. Need to decide how the arms or legs go. I keep changing my mind, don't I? Right. Look at that. I do like that colour. Right, I'm just going to blast that with my heat gun because I am going to pop. Oops. Very thick cable, this one. Can't find its off switch either, I have to find. Right, so they're not quite sticking out, standing out, sticking out, standing out enough for me right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my trusty gel pen because you knew i hadn't had enough of it before 
that's only teasing yep and just in the odd place I'm just going to add a little bit of white and I'm hoping by doing that it's going to make it pop out a little bit more again you could use your glossy accents or you know Yuzu drops or whatever you've got Come on, I'm pressing on too hard not liking going over the glass the um distress oxides tonight at all. Maybe I won't be using my white pen at this rate. Let's see if I can find me other one. Not having any of it tonight. Oh, there we go. The better one is the fatter one. So I like that one. Let's be a little bit more gentle with this one because, like I said, this is the um, number 10 nib, not the. You see, just that little bit of white there really helps it jump out, doesn't it? So again, just coming in around it. Don't have to do all of it, just the odd bit and bob. See, I've missed this one's legs out here. A nice colour in it. And that one there. It's just rude, isn't it? Right. See, it looks better already, doesn't it? We have got those little bits of sparkle in there. Would look better with a bit of gel pen on, a uh, bit of glossy accents, but hey, not meant to be tonight. So, sentiment time. As you can see, that's going to go on there like so. So, sentiment time. I'm going to use my scrap tool for this because you know I've got to scrap. It must have come off a card at some point. So, I'm going to use. Oh, I'm going to use wonderful time of the year. It's a nice long saying because we've got the um, border going that way. You've got a nice long saying to spread your cards the other way. Because at the moment it's looking like, oh, she should have just put that in the middle. No, because I wanted to put my nice long saying on. Decision time. I think I'm going to do this in white stamp straight onto the, the white and then we might do a bit of a splatty background to mount it onto so it all kind of works neatly neat and tidy together and then of course we need to find our um, floof because it's Christmas the floof's come out haven't it There we go. Oops, and easy. Wonderful time of the year. And there. And then I want a slightly bigger piece. Oh, that was my guillotine as well. Nearly came with us then. Oh, that one's my guillotine's been sat on that one. No wonder it all came away. Oh, I've not got my little guillotine. Bear with me why I just cut this on the big one. <laughs> That's why it was jumping off the shelf, wasn't it? Then you're gonna need me. But I know 
explain that, I'd have to sit first and then I could have stamped it centre. <coughs> Concentrate when I use the bigger brushes. I didn't concentrate that point, so I think it's really to do squishy. Bear with. even worse. Hopefully it's now big enough. Still big enough even. Nearly. Right. Let's see. Yep, that'll do me long enough so we've got it's a wonderful time of the year and all we're going to do in the background is one we're just going to grab our little snowflake ebby dooby we need to give this a quick clean because we're going to use our oxides and we don't want any of that black ink to regenerate and basically stain our oxide because you know how temperamental they can be need to start using my cloths again don't I? No, I, I did find them the other week. Right, let's just have a scrappy bit of paper. Clean the middle of it by the looks of it. Yeah. going to dry it off in case it is still wet and I found the uh, tissue. There you go. Right. All that. And all I really want is I'm going to grab I really need to stamp the block into it. There we go. Right. All I want is little, little bits. So I'm just going to ink up this bit here. We're just going to roughly stamp it. I want the snowflake really on it. So we're going to pop that there. I'm going to do the same. Oh, I didn't ink the snowflake up after all that. Whoops. Ink it up again on this side. Still being conscious of those lines though. Really juicy this one, isn't it? Another one there. Have I got any green left on there, blue even? Not really. Okay, we'll leave it at that for that bit. Let's just clean this up. Is another really wet one. You know, it's, it's, some of the oxides are quite juicy, aren't they, to work with? And that's that's one of them. So we've got our savaged, salvaged patina. We'll get there. I'm going to use a little bit of our speckled egg as well because at the moment it's looking a bit bright, isn't it? Behind. So I just want a little bit for me. Speckled the egg. I'm just trying to rough up the back basically. 
because I don't want it to be white. So in theory, it'll be satin, a white bit behind. Right, that should be enough. Dry. Nearly blew away, it was that power cut thing. dry enough to work with that's the main thing so I'm going to grab a piece of kitchen roll I'm going to go back to my speckled head very gently because bear in mind this one seems to be a very juicy one doesn't it? Oops. It would do if I wasn't getting it caught on the paper. There we go. So we've got our speckled egg. And then on this one, we're going to take, remember oxide, you need a clean bit of tissue if you're going to do your distress in. Which we're going to. Again, it's a very juicy one, this one. That about both the new ones, haven't I? Not got me tissue right because it won't work. Very gentle around the edge. Was that my finger that did that? Can you see I've got a big splodgy mark there? So I'm just going to go a little bit harsher. Come in a little bit more. That's fine. There we go. No one will know I put a big inky pinky mark on that, will they? Well, inky blue mark. It's going to go on there. Ooh, liking that colour. And then we're going to push our pour gel pens to the limits. We want them to work on top of wet distress oxide. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not saying a word. Not saying a word. Go. Oh, that was a bit of a shocker, wasn't it? I'm going to pop that on there. This needs to come back down here. So we've got our little, oh, not so little card. This, I might just pop that down at the bottom there. That will all be nicely lined up, just like that. And then let me just grab a little bit of fleece. Loopy doop. There we go. I only need a tiny little bit for this. Let me just chop a little bit off. Right, find my scissors. Oops. I didn't do very good at cutting that straight, did I? Can you see that bit there? Whoops. I won't get any prizes for cutting while well, tonight. And all I'm going to do is just chop a couple of pieces of my fleece. Or I, I know a few of you have been asking what what is it? What is fleece? It's basically it's called deco mesh, snow snow effect deco mesh, something like that. I normally pick mine up at the shows. So um, Ross Papercraft normally does it. Big rolls from Ross from Terry um, or you can get it on Amazon as well and eBay just look, look under floristry stuff but it's deco mesh it's the stuff that you make those gorgeous you know the big um, ribbon wreaths with just that stuff now it's special 
It looks stunning, doesn't it? Especially the white. They do some with glitter in it as well, but that goes everywhere, so you have been warned. If you go looking and find the one with glitter in, good luck to you. So I'm going to stick that there. I, what you do need to do though is, um, you you need to make sure you use something like a stinky glue to secure it down because all those little bubbles of um, foam, it's like foam on it, will not want to stick to tape or anything like that. So there you go. We have got. It's going to go something like that. I will stick it all down at some point and do it in a nice little picture for you. Um, but there you go. In the back there. I know, these these ones. Yeah. People like using them in our house too. No, they're mine. I gave them I, you, I, an old pair of mine. The spring broke. So they, they don't you know, jump back. Um, so I gave Mr. Roo them. He's still using them. You know, if he wants to borrow my scissors, he can borrow that pair. There, right. So tonight, what have we done? We have just done a splattered background. That is all we have done. Um, so the colours we used, just to recap, was savage, salvaged patina, speckled egg, and weathered wood. So literally that and a black ink pad is all we have used on this tonight and um, we stamped we, we did a pick up for the first two colors splattered the third we stamped our big snowflake and then we stamped him again so we've, we've got this one for a cutout colored this in using our um, gel pens we have colored in the little ones in the back there using that salvage patina but it's only just poking through if i lift it up there's literally only a little bit you can see in the background there but doesn't if you look at those lines doesn't it make a difference having the um charcoal pen the pencil going down the side i think it does anyway and then we've just literally taken some scrap card um, and stamped a, a saying down in the bottom corner it's a wonderful time of the year using our our background just to break it up but we haven't included any extra colors yep so we've only kept it to the same color palette I do like that one. Maybe that is my first card I've made for this year. Maybe. We will have to see. Anyway, um, that is it from me tonight. We will be back on Monday. There we go. I couldn't find my buttons. I couldn't find my mouse, to be fair. Um, we'll be back on Monday at the usual time of 7 o'clock from until night Monday. Um, we will be doing some more gift ideas. So. Um, I hope you can tune in for that. That'll be at seven o'clock on Monday, um, and we are in Birmingham at the Motor, Muse Motor Cycle Museum on Saturday. So if you're anywhere near, pop in. It is a lovely, lovely um, venue. I think it's four quid a ticket to get in. So it's lovely, lovely um, venue. Hopefully we'll see you there as long as the weather holds out. But it can snow on Sunday. Well, it can't. It has to snow on Monday because Mr. Roo's got plans for Sunday. Um, anyway. Um, I think that's everything I have to tell you. Oh, keep an eye out. I'll be doing a sneaky peek of um, December. I can't believe it's December. December's monthly make tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Um, and we've got some fun as well happening in December with our monthly make box. So you have to keep an eye out for that. So, okay, that's it for me. Thank you all for your lovely comments. And I will see you all again very soon. On Monday, in fact. Oh, on Saturday, we're coming to the Motorcycle Museum. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.